Hello and welcome. Um, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use one of our Neptune trading robots. Uh, it uses the Euro dollar. I'm going to show you how to backtest um, the parameters. So if you've just purchased the robot, or you're using it as a trial period to check it out. I'm going to show you how you can backtest if you're not familiar with backtesting. Okay. So when you open up the C Trader trading platform, this is something you'll see. This is using Fondex as the broker. Um, if you come down to this tab here, it says automate. If you click on there, now in here, we've opened ours up already, but in here you'll see the robot that will say click algo, Neptune, and in this case it's the euro dollar, but yours might be another uh, currency symbol, okay? So what you want to do is click on the down arrow and select add instance. Once you've done that, the robot uh, parameters will come along down the bottom here. Now each robot um, that you can download from our website has the parameters already optimized for it, okay? So you don't need to optimize the parameters. Um, we're going to do another video later that's going to show you how to optimize these parameters in the event that you want to optimize them for a shorter time frame or you just want to keep optimizing them to get to get even better returns, okay? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to run the back test and while the back test is running, I'm going to explain the parameters along the left hand side for you. So to run a back test for this currency symbol, you'd click on the back test tab. Now this is one we've run earlier. Uh, if you click on this backtest settings icon, now I'm going to do a starting capital of £1,000, which is a realistic value. I'm going to do the commission as 45 per million. It might be less for your broker. I mean, that's just a wild guess. I'm going to leave it on one minute uh, open prices. I'm just going to select a fixed value. I'm going to leave it as it is at 0.6. Okay. Uh, the reason that live spread says 4.6 there because it's a Saturday. The markets have closed. Um, the euro dollar, as we know, is always below 0.5 or something. Okay, so all you need to do now to run the back test is you make sure that you use this slider and you slide it all the way to the very start of the, of the uh, time frame. In this case, 2011 to 2018. So <clears throat> I'm going to click the start button. What that's doing now, that's starting to run the back test. Um, now you can click along the tabs at the bottom and look at the trade statistics at the end once it's finished. So I'm going to leave it on equity chart, just let it run. Um, okay, and while that's running, I'm going to explain the parameters to you. So if you look on the left hand side, You've got the symbol, you leave it as euro dollar. You've got the time frame, one hour. I would just leave it at one hour. Um, you've got the buy volume and sell volume. Now, what I would do with these, they're both set at 10,000. If you use a lower value, you have a lower drawdown or a lower risk. So you'll get lower profits, but your risk will be a lot lower. So if you're using an account, for example, of only 200 pounds or 200 units of your currency, put that as low as, low as it will go, which would be about 1,000 volume, okay, 1K. Um, if you've got a very small account size and you put it at 10,000, might, you might get a higher drawdown. So the reason we've got buy volume and sell volume, that gives you the option to actually look at the market, look at all the trend indicators, look at over the period of, say, the next few weeks. And, tell, and, and if you know it's going to be a, more of a bullish trend, I would put a higher volume for the buy positions than the sell positions. If it looks like it's going to be a bearish trend, over over a period of a week or so, I would or whatever period you're going to run this robot, I would put it um, the sell volume to be higher. So what this allows you to do is favour uh, a volume, the size of position size that you're opening on, dependent upon market conditions. So that might help you out. This is just running a back test, assuming that they're both at ten thousand at ten k. Okay. Um, stop loss here, you've got one and two and take profit one and two. These are just the stop loss that's used for the buys and stop loss that's used for the sales. And again, take profit uh, one is the buy and take profit two is the sell. So you don't really need to know too much about this. Uh, this robot is a black box system. We hide or the, the actual logic is hidden from you. So um, you just need to plug and play really. You just load it and run it. But what we've, uh, what we've provided is parameters to allow you to optimize to get even better results. Okay, so you can see here it's just finished the back test results. Um, it's got a 533% increase in profit, which is £5,000. I know it's over a very long period of time, but the idea is that you use this robot with all the other robots together. Okay, you don't just use it on its own and expect to make money. The whole idea is to list, risk as little as possible, but to keep grabbing chunks of that of that cake. Okay. So you can look on here and it's got the max balance and equity drawdown is below 5%. That's quite low. So in here you can see all the trait, the statistics. You can see the sharp ratio is 0.42 and the Sortino is 0.6, which is very good. Okay. And that's starting with a capital of 1,000. One thing I must note that if you're running it on a shorter time period, you might notice 
um, it not performing as good. If you want it, you can, but we're giving you the option now to, um, I'll do it in the next video, to show you how to optimize over shorter time periods and longer time periods to play around with the values to get it perfect so you've got um, the right results for you. Okay, so I'll just quickly go through the other parameters. Now, all of these optimize are 1 to 15. They'll be explained in the optimization uh, video we're going to do next. And this allows you to get, like I said, uh, ongoing good performance results out of this robot. So obviously it's been optimi optimi optimized, yeah. So over time, you might need to re-optimize it every two or three months. And we're going to show you how to do that, okay? So that's the video just showing you how to run a back test um, for this trading robot. Okay, and the next one we're going to do is to show you how to optimize the parameters um, ongoing. Okay, um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom. It really helps our Google rankings. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon.